when I said I was going to do a gospel record, I think some fans were like, well, we'll catch you when you come back. But when you can hear those same 808s that you hear in music that everybody loves on the radio today, but then you catch them because they don't know that it's going to be an inspirational song or they don't know they're going to get a Bible story in the midst of turning up and being ratchet. That's, that's, that's cool. I, I should have always done my music like that. So then I kind of started getting comfortable and feeling like, man, gospel doesn't have to sound like what. It's not a sound. It's it's the message. I, I'm I'm hoping that the lyrics penetrate your heart and some change happens, and that you're not just bopping around to it. I'm hoping that my music is helping to change lives as well. Journey to freedom. Then is this yeah. about getting rid of the funk? Yes. So what was the funk? The funk was sadness, the funk was anger, the funk was depression. Sadness and anger, did something happen? Did somebody pass away or just um, I, too much work? The, the, <laughs> the, the, the thing that exposed it was betrayal. Because I was like, I'm a good person. Why is this happening? I said, well, let me examine myself. You know, a lot of, a lot of black people don't want to talk about depression. I know because, well, some of us don't know what it is. I didn't know it was depression. I thought it was just growing pains. And then once we find out, we don't know how to deal with it. We're, we sweep stuff under the rug. Don't you air your dirty laundry? Don't you talk about what's going on in the family? You keep that to yourself. But I want to get to a place where I can tell you on my journey to freedom, this is what I had to do. I've been there. I know what you're going through. I'm there now. I'm still getting there. It's still a day-to-day -day process. I have no problem talking about, you know, what was going on. And so, but I feel sorry for those who feel like they can't. There is still that traditional gospel music that I like. Every now and then, I sing a hymn. Because it might not be the song that I have with Lit Cray and Ty Trippett that's going to get me out of a situation. It's going to be an old school hymn. But to the young person today, it might be fall for them. I get this tweet almost every day. I'm not even spiritual, but I love to say yes. I'm an atheist, but I love when Jesus say yes. So the fact that I can even get you to say you like that song is pretty cool. I'm reaching somebody. I'm planting a seed somewhere and I think that's just the job of gospel music is to plant seeds wherever you can the mu that should be the mission of music period is to plant good seeds